you will hear people say you won't be able to travel with the baby as much anymore so here we are so we finally packed and we're driving to Thomas brother's place to grab his brother then we're going to his mom to unpack some stuff from our car because we just loaded the whole car and it's barely fitting <laughs> the trunk was really hard to close and here's Ava here's daddy hello traveling with a baby is different that's for sure you have to pack way more stuff than you used to make sure baby's comfy dry fed entertained and most importantly stop to rest and stretch for their little bodies and of course, ours. Because who actually does that while driving somewhere? And after all, once a child is comfortable, he will sleep in the car and you will be able to rest as well. So we finally came to the destination of our journey. So we're unpacking and I'm quickly gonna show you how our house looks like this is our tiny house where we going to be staying for a few days it's all made from wood in and out we have a double bed and a single bed that we won't be needing to use a fridge little couch table and a wardrobe everything you need and tons of our stuff too <laughs> It was time to unpack and put some things away. So whenever we go somewhere where we will have a sleepover, we take our bed sheets so we feel as comfortable as we can while resting. We organize some stuff, put some food in the fridge and uh, yeah, it's raining really heavy outside. So for an entire night there was a massive storm outside. It was like 30 meters per second wind. Entire house was cracking from the outside. But little one slept so good. By the way, it's my birthday today. Happy birthday to daddy! I even totally forgot. Happy birthday to daddy! Jiu, jiu, jiu. You're gonna prepare for daddy's birthday! Happy birthday, daddy! Happy birthday! Our little breakfast yogurt with. Already got a munched it. Everything. Look at this beauty. Probably the best cinnamon roll I ever had. <laughs> Imagine if it would be fresh from the oven. Mm. Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, the day after storm was still very windy, but at least it was not raining. We wanted to visit the sea first, that the passage to it was very close. If you look at Thomas' shoes and the sand, you can see how strong the wind is, because the sand is flowing with the wind. Later in the day, we walked around 2 kilometers to a place called Dutchman's Camp. While Ava was soundly asleep, we grabbed some milkshakes to treat ourselves. Some milk chocolates. Chocolates, milkshakes, milk chocolates. <laughs> the wind was wild, but this place is really beautiful and of course, pause to read about the meaning of this place. Even the weather was not in our favor. We enjoyed every single moment together. We were so blessed to have sunny days after such storm on our trip to the sea. 
this day was our last day and the weather was beautiful still a little bit windy but warm and sunny that's what matters we spent this whole day with family Ava even got a little nap while listening to the waves we didn't go swimming but I wanted for our baby to have most of the sea experiences except of eating sand Past seven at the moment. So nearly we, eight. Seven. Nearly eight. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and we're going to the beach for the sunset. People tell you traveling with kids is exhausting, useless. Kids that age won't remember a thing, like there is no point. But if you look from the other side, they might not memorize visibly the experience they take, but it does so much for their development at that age and uh, let's not forget us parents we also create memories for ourselves so we have things to remember with our little humans just because you have a baby doesn't mean you have to leave yourself behind and stop enjoy your life just all the experiences will be different that it was before kids but you still can enjoy the things you used to love kids slow us down of course they don't let us rush and this is one of the best parts of parenthood. We can stop a little while and watch our life from the kids' eyes like we used to and enjoy the little things and places that surround us. So when was the last time you truly enjoyed the waves crash to the shore or watch the clouds flow in the sky or the bright orange sunset? We actually never ask questions like this to ourselves, but maybe we actually should. <laughs> 